pathetic, narcissistic, self-indulgent pair. I just think they're dreadful. I, I was just talking to Isabel earlier. Why on earth we allow him to keep his titles? If he hates this country, if he hates the monarchy, you know, if I had enough time, I'd be ringing in a private member's bill to say, right, you want to you wanna hate the monarchy? You're Mr. Windsor. Jog on, really. Grow up. I mean, I know that Hollywood is full of sad old Etonians with slightly sort of bracy girlfriends trying to justify their existence, but please, please, give me a break. I can't bear it. I can't, I just can't bear them. I cannot bear them. Thank you so much. I feel better already. I truth. Well, if Harry really wants the full truth told, then it's essential. He lobbies Buckingham Palace to free the staff members who claim they were bullied by Meghan from the gagging orders currently silencing them. One staff member, subject to a confidentiality agreement, told the Times newspaper today, the only way to end it for good is for us to be allowed to speak and for the palace to firmly reject their lies. I certainly have chosen to remain silent out of respect for the Crown. If they keep attacking us and our characters, reputation, etc., we need to feel we are equally supported by the royal family. They are right. Courtiers for King Charles must give these former staff members the assurance they can speak without being taken to court. And further, tonight I'm demanding that Buckingham Palace publish the covered up results of its inquiry into claims of Meghan's bullying, which her lawyers have always denied. Release the report. I looked up my husband online. I've never looked up my husband online. So I needed to learn a lot, including the national anthem. How did you learn it? Oh, I Googled it. And the zip breaks, and it's like, and, and it's like, okay, but it was safety pins or safety pins. I mean, the whole thing was just ridiculous. You ready? Yeah. Okay. This is actually quite sad. This was the Grenfell book. She cheers after she's given another speech. Watch Harry's face. This is actually kind of upsetting. She's done the big speech. Harry's there cheering for her. Looks so happy. She walks past. He's nothing. He's demoted to a member of staff. Look at his face. He's literally left a trail behind. Canada, when their relationship first was made public, the only paparazzi shown bothering her is one guy on a scooter in New York City <laughs> in a scene that remains my very favorite of the entire series so far. Look at these drama queens. Do we have that pap on the scooter again? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we do. Really? Same guy? Same guy. Oh, my God. I've watched him go into this park and then... Is he with us? Yes, sir. He was just ahead. There's a lot of people who think yeah, they've got such a problem with, with paparazzi. Yeah, those, um, the guys in the basement of the building. Safety first. It's one guy on a Vespa. What are you worried about? He's going to deliver some flowers in a newspaper to you? <laughs> but this is so on brand for these two. This is a fantastic point. I'm a survivor of abuse by a narcissist. And I haven't thought about this, but you're right. She is so transparent. It didn't take me very long to see right through her. Good point. Thanks. be able to have the balance to take care of their families and be able to do their jobs. A high tide raises all ships. So if you Stolen really quote. adopt that motto and understand that 
by helping the people who are coming up. It's not taking anything away from you. It's just helping more people succeed. I think that's really key. Mm. There was um, allegations that Megan bullied staff. I mean, people talk to me of um, people being completely destroyed. I've heard how people at the time, when faced with a possible encounter with Megan, were saying things like, I feel sick, or I'm shaking. I mean, extraordinary things for an employee to say about you know, the prospect of seeing their employer. In our Not everything needs to be announced to everybody. This is yet another thing that we can learn from Harry and Meghan. There are some details and some things that they said in their recent Netflix documentary, not to mention previous things that have gone on, that just have no place in the public eye or in their own narrative. It doesn't serve their story very well. It doesn't serve them very well because it makes them look petty and childish. And there's really no point to it except for slandering or making someone else look bad. And anytime somebody is trying to make someone else look bad, they end up looking bad. So this is a good lesson in exchanges and editing what you say out to the public or to other people. Fortunately, most of us don't have a platform that large to worry about, but still keep private things private and be careful with what you put out there for everybody else to see and hear. Thank you so much for watching. The response has been unbelievable to my Harry and Meghan videos, so I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Um, I've been posting a lot of friends lately, but a lot of you guys keep requesting more of these. So here we are. Um, also I do know that they have that dreadful new series coming out New Year's Eve. So I plan to react to that. Look out for that. And of course, Harry's book Spare comes out January 10th. So you better believe I'll be reacting to that as well. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Be sure to leave comments below and I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.